My name is Frank Cheng. I am Professor Emeritus at the University of Washington. I've taught beginning drawing and design for over 35 years. Drawing has always been something that I've always done. I never saw it as a job. And having to teach it for the first time really made me think about you know, why I was doing things a certain way and how do you see drawing and so on. I've written books on drawing, construction, design, codes, structures, interior design. And I've always enjoyed the process of coming up with an idea, trying to figure out how to organize information, learning about the subject, and then communicating that information in an attractive way. I try to focus on principles, on essentials. I write pretty simply and directly. Since I've taught beginning design students for most of my career, I understand how they think, how they receive information, and so on. I wrote my first book in 1975. That was uh, Architecture Graphics. It was a compilation of class notes. This is in the day before computers and photocopy machines, and I hand wrote the notes. I must have had 400 pages. It's interesting to look at how I started doing it by hand on, with a simple pencil on paper to uh, working with a computer, but still trying to maintain the same format as I've always done. Every page is a creation, every book's a creation. It's not like a regular text just with uh, words. You, know, you can pick it up and look at it because of the imagery that I use, the drawings that I use, the illustrations. You know, they provide a certain level of information that's easily accessible and understandable. I've thought a lot about drawing and, and you know, of course my ideas about drawing have changed, particularly now with the digital media. The question comes in why teach hand drawing in this day and age? And it's an interesting question. Drawing from observation is still, I think, beneficial and useful because they haven't invented a tablet yet that you can carry around with you and take notes. Drawing with a pen and pencil on, on, a, on a little sketchbook like this is, is much more portable, much more handy, and you can learn a lot by drawing what you see in you know, places you visit. Seeing and thinking is probably the more important parts of drawing. If you can see and think clearly, then the drawing becomes easier. But if you think about how to draw a line, then drawing becomes really hard. I usually thought that I was laying the foundation for an architecture education or my books, but because the, the field is much richer, much more complex today, I'm just simply laying the footing for the foundation wall, and then on top of that, they, they can build their education.